you don't know what spiritual backings have been invoked over that environment until you create your own climate you will be a victim of the default climate there are people who fraternize with the devil I will employ people to work for me but they will never rise above me so if the man goes down everybody will go down to still keep him above them because it's a covenant now you got a job fresh from the university your blood is hot everybody dances around church you carry your certificate and all of a sudden you are earning 300,000 but you cannot bring out 10,000 you are not a drunkard you don't pursue women you don't know what happened and all that swallows up that thing that's what I'm telling you what has happened to many of our parents so we think the solution is promotion oh God promote me then your salary is now 400,000 the effect is still the same but a woman who went to a man of God and is joining a little prayer group in her ignorance is flying Akara somewhere in the junction and with that Akara she trains seven children in school it's not Akara she was assisted by the realm of the spirit no sir you don't train children with with frying a car again you can come and meet that woman and beg her for a loan of hundred thousand and she will laugh she will say i'm coming she will enter the room and bring it out yet you claim that you are doing a white collar job and the altar fights you listen please pay attention to what i'm telling you whenever you prevail in the realm of the spirit an altar prevailed Believe what I'm telling you. Zaria has an altar. The effects of the altar in Zaria is predictable. You see it in the civilization of the people. You see it in what happens to people. The marginalizations that people never rise to certain dimensions. You came to Zaria and just thought it's all about going to church. No. You create your climate. You create your climate. That's why it says, Yea, though I walk, though I walk through a valley that has the shadow of death, I fear no evil because I carry another climate. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So you are in a place where people cannot live up to 40 years. You know, you are aware in your village, you've seen people dying like chickens, but you come with another order. You understand that the altar of prayer is also an altar that can contend with everything and you are enjoying long life you are enjoying grace the person who married earliest in your family was 45 are we together and you look and you say no you get married then you must spend five or ten years to have your first child if you sit down and keep watching it and don't cry for assistance and don't force compliance it will never work i watch people and my heart bleeds at their perception of god which is based on their consistent sufferings they conclude that god is not a merciful god but he said i sought for a man that through the altar of prayer you can nullify certain activities legal ordinances that have been erected to speak you will be dreaming to believe there's nothing speaking against you now no sir you have lived too long to have created one by mistake you have lived too long on earth if you are up to one years old welcome to the reality of this life there has to be something speaking the bible says the sin of disobedience is like what witchcraft witchcraft what is the operation of witchcraft so we all want to rise it's a year of triumph and there is you think that the whole thing is your grandfather or grandmother and the day you hear that they are dead you rejoice the priesthood died but the altar is still alive you see that and the altar is fine and good doing well that's why you find out the solution is not just to kill people around the solution is through spiritual intelligence to lift up a spiritual fortification 
that vetoes everything. Brothers and sisters, you will leave heaven on earth. All of a sudden, they will watch you. Ah, ah. You've been in Zamfara for three years, but you are returning as if you are in the UK. You can fly to UK with that altar. It will wait for you at Heathrow Airport. As soon as you are landing, you enter and all the doors close. People who never knew you are still manipulated by that altar to work against you. And you thought it's just something in Nigeria. And at the end of it, you come back after five years looking like a thief. Where have you been? UK. Are you sure? Yes. Why are you like this? You know the way life is. People smuggle their way and pass through rivers and deserts all to go to Germany and UK. Whereas they think that's the greener pasture. The greener pasture is the altar you raise. That speak. That speak. That speak. Until Jesus came, there was a universal altar speaking against man. Vengeance. Vengeance. But when Jesus came, he established another altar that spoke better promises. Better things. I cannot live walking and living my life to chance and hoping that things will be all right. I know things will not be all right. If they will be all right, you must create it. You must create it. So I enforce compliance. Will the devil leave you because he thinks God anointed you? No. No. Satan is not that cheap. You are going to contend. That's why he said, put on the whole armor. Put on the whole armor. There is a devil somewhere that will destroy your life, destroy your ministry, destroy your business, destroy your destiny. You get married to a very lovely wife. You loved her with all your heart. They ask both of you, will you love yourself? You say yes. The moment you married, everybody brought their altars in holy matrimony. Now, you are nice people. This altar was designed to scatter the finances of whoever is standing with you. And all of a sudden, a good woman, but you find out that your entire life starts going down. And if you meet a, a prophet who is not sound in scripture, he will tell you your wife is the reason for your failure. Based on prophetic insight, he has seen that there is an altar associated with her. It's not a lie that is responsible for that downfall. The individual may be the nicest person in the world, but the altar will not change. Please hear what I'm teaching you. And there are men, no matter what happens, if they marry, maximum three years, the wife must die. And all of a sudden, from the day the dear lady got married, he may be a pastor, apostle, prophet. How many men of God have altars fighting them? They look around and they claim nothing is happening. And they assume that because they took on the call for ministry, God is too generous to allow them. It's a joke. No, sir. And this man gets married to this dear lady and all of a sudden she starts sleeping mysterious sicknesses she never had heart palpitations she will feel being pressed and she says my husband i don't know what is wrong i'm at, since we got married i said are you trying to say i'm a witch look at what the altars are causing then two of them go for counseling and they meet a man of god who is sincere but no spiritual intelligence and he says look it's how marriages are just take it easy, pray together, and it doesn't mean what he's saying. And they say, okay. They say, hug your wife in front of me. They now hug themselves. Hold my hand, darling. They go back home. The altar say, well, come back. By evening, that man has slapped her again. Remember, he promised in the presence of the pastor not to do it again. But the altars. Brothers and sisters, that's why God puts meetings like this. Because you can be sitting down now not knowing the deliverance that is happening. You just feel something left me. I don't know what happened and you go back and you who would have you would have blown somebody out of anger you find out that that force that comes upon you when you are angry that can make you insult anybody is no longer there because there is an altar this ministry you see is an altar we don't have an altar this is it's a it's an altar that's why you can talk against it in your secret place and start going down nobody is aware because the altar speaks All of a sudden, 
a man of God will teach them how to raise altars and they will raise an altar of prayer and come and say look we are not bad people the devil is confusing us here you are a good woman I'm a good person we did not negotiate where to come from and all of a sudden day one now watch what is happening they are holding their hands and praying after that day they just feel good but nothing really happens I told you consistency is how spirits are attracted day two the, the man doesn't want to pray but she says honey remember we're on a project here you know what we, are we have left at home let's do this thing after one week two weeks somebody starts having a dream somewhere after one week a spirit must appear to somebody somewhere and try to warn somebody an effect is being created in the realm of the spirit it's not a sign of witness you can't sit upon hot fire and act as if you is not it can't be for too long listen to me that's what is happening to some of you now it was after your seven days of prayer you had a strange dream you have never had you thought it's a sign that you are losing it's a sign of victory something is happening in the realm of the spirit all of a sudden you went to sleep and you saw a vision of your mother when she was young your father when he was young the spirit of god is trying to show you something follow him but that's when the spirit of slumber comes god keeps saying for one month wake up by two o'clock there's something i'm doing in your life after two weeks you don't wake up again you see how we cheat ourselves and you don't know that you are on the path of deliverance you reign you reign hello king you reign you reign you reign hello king Listen, I promise you, if you listen to what I'm teaching you tonight, many of you, as soon as you go back, you will see the dream you will have this night. The devil hates what you are hearing because this is the age long mystery that has kept people in your family educated but it's like they are not educated a pastor you are blessing people but you never rise yourself do you know why because your victory is tied to your altar not just your service your altar i created an altar that is independent of koinonia and i said no devil will come and destroy me no no watch this please come again the two weeks we are praying Shabra Kato Sotobash Lebre Koto Shabaya. We are praying, we are praying, we are fasting. Something starts happening. One day there will be a breaking point in the realm of the spirit. If that prayer were two hours, a day will come in to become a vigil. Not by not because you like it, there will be you will break open a portal in the realm of the spirit and two hours prayer will become prayer till morning and your child will come and meet you and say daddy i saw a man in white and i saw the man doing something on your head spiritual activities are happening in the family all of a sudden you start seeing doors opening you love your wife like never before the devil told you the secret is to marry another one no sir you marry another one the altar is still the same there are pastors the altars that fight them and in first risk of their ministry something happens people start living they have raised so many people but have not been raised by themselves there are altars i've seen it fight people i've seen it fight people i know these altars fought me for years you go to sleep a strange woman appears to you and sleeps with you in the dream you get up and say sorry i don't know what is happening someone is about to marry you here comes the stranger again what is bringing the stranger have you ever asked you relocate to another house he still looks for you and comes they are about to promote you in the office all of a sudden your physical document disappears physical document 
how many students seated here that's the mystery behind the results you are seeing the ugly results that you are seeing you love god and you are sincere but that's the mystery behind the demonic things you see on that board you are not that god you write your exams and go back the altars continue writing things continue writing things i know what i'm saying listen to me you hear people coming here with four points they were not born that way they have tapped into a higher covenant you see them surprised by their own results they know it's not their efforts that's why people join certain ministries join certain men of god see people partner with certain anointings this is the mystery of partnership when you partner with an anointing you access the covenant the covenant not the promise the covenant there are parents today the moment you are 50 years arthritis you get up one morning father cannot walk mother cannot walk their entire pension is spent on it it's not sickness it's a programming an altar is accurate with digital precision regardless of your foreknowledge it will work it will work i have seen it destroy families i have seen it destroy ministries that's why certain ministries remain small no matter how anointed they are an anointed man with fire on his head but he will not cross certain boundaries once they reach 200 something must happen a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters it's an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of god somewhere and all the man of god will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar There are altars. You give birth to men, they must die. They must die. Something must kill them. No matter how healthy they are, they must die. Brothers and sisters, I have seen this evil. It exists. Tonight we are going to pray. Are we together? When it's time, I'm not going to give you a prayer point. When it's time to pray, we are going to pray. Tonight you are going to erect. Many of you, as you pray tonight, you will see what will begin to happen to you. I want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep i can't be pretending that it's not there again these animals that come to me in my sleep no i started a business well why is it that i start good things something evil must come lift your voice and pray La kata kata ka segete ba kusoto ba ma brato sople de shabara da bala da bala da bala.
arise upon the wings of the wind. Arise. Arise. Hey, shana, na, 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 